Nowadays, more and more companies are joining the race to develop humanoid robots, simply because a successful robot of this kind can quickly generate profit. Most of us would love to have an assistant or a household helper. So far, at least 30 companies worldwide are working on humanoid robots, with the United States and China leading the way. And in the field among Tesla Bot, Figure AI, and Unitree. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. Everything changed in 2023. Even though Tesla introduced its first humanoid robot in 2022, Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 seems to have taken things to a whole new level, featuring a design unlike any other humanoid robot in the world while its internal system functions like fully integrated human-like senses. Optimus can fully perceive its surroundings, engage in conversations, and respond to user questions and commands. Its five-fingered hands, with fingers of varying lengths similar to human hands, mark a significant advancement. Compared to Unitree's three-fingered hands, this difference becomes apparent when imagining Unitree trying to catch a tennis ball the way Optimus does. As seen in Tesla's videos and images showcasing Optimus as a household assistant and a Tesla employee, these roles are unsurprising and could be among its most common applications. Optimus can handle various tasks such as cleaning, cooking, childcare, and elderly care. That's right. Remarkable duties, much like a real housekeeper with the upcoming Gen 3 version promising significant changes and upgrades. Tesla has demonstrated that Optimus can clean the kitchen, water plants, serve drinks, open a car trunk, and carry groceries inside, as well as check packages. Clearly, even though this isn't the final or most advanced version, Optimus has already proven its usefulness. If the Tesla bot can handle all your household chores for just half the price of a Tesla EV, this is truly a revolution for humanity. What, what other companies are missing is that they're, they're missing the AI brain and they're missing the ability to really scale to very high volume production. It's no coincidence that Musk repeatedly and confidently called Optimus the most advanced humanoid robot ever during Tesla's earnings call in late October last year. He explained that Tesla is the only company that truly has all the necessary components to scale humanoid robots. What other companies lack is the AI brain, workforce, and skilled engineers required to mass produce them. However, in Tesla's latest update, Optimus has demonstrated remarkable progress. The robot was observed confidently navigating the 4,680 battery manufacturing facility at Gigafactory, Texas automatically avoiding obstacles and humans without any external intervention. This is truly a standout achievement, proving that Optimus is not only capable of autonomous navigation in a factory setting, but also has the potential to adapt to a variety of different environments. Analysts predict that the increasing momentum and focus on the Tesla Optimus project by the end of the year could accelerate its training and development capabilities in 2025. Although Optimus currently utilizes only a fraction of Tesla's computing power, it's expected to eventually achieve abilities beyond human imagination. At present, Optimus's hands have 22 degrees of freedom compared to the 27 degrees of freedom in human hands, an already impressive feat. With these hands, there's no doubt about the range of tasks it can handle. Specifically, as you can see, the Tesla bot has demonstrated its ability to catch a tennis ball with its new hands. It catches the ball with incredible precision and holds it firmly. Of course, in this video, Optimus is being remotely controlled, but don't get the wrong idea. Typically, remotely controlled robots experience signal lag, meaning they usually have more latency. However, as we've seen, Optimus reacts at an astonishing speed with minimal delay, which is the real highlight here. As we've mentioned multiple times, Every aspect and component of Optimus must be remotely controlled to collect data, and we believe the Tesla team must undergo extensive training to achieve such precise performance. When designing this new hand, Milan Kovac confirmed on X that all actuators are concentrated in the forearm, mimicking human tendons. The benefit of this design is that it makes the hand lighter and more flexible during operation. It seems that Tesla is paying special attention to research on integrating extended tactile sensors covering a much larger surface area than previous hands. The main challenge now is balancing the softness of the protective layer on the fingers. 
As Tesla moves into the scaling phase, the company will adopt an automated production process, optimizing every stage. From assembling the robot's frame and integrating electronic components to software calibration, Tesla's manufacturing system will foster collaboration between robots and humans, ensuring seamless synchronization efficiency and superior speed. Notably, you won't need to train Optimus when you buy it. Many people have shared that they wouldn't purchase the Tesla Optimus if they had to train it from scratch for new tasks, simply because they don't have the time for such a robot. How the new feature promised safety when using TeslaBot. Optimus was initially created by Elon Musk to ensure that the robotics industry and the world of AI would be safe, non-harmful, and non-destructive as this technology emerged. Many robot companies have introduced their technology and the increasing number of startups raises a significant question and fear among many people. Most of us still have concerns that the development of the Tesla bot might lead to a new generation of iRobot movies. Perhaps Elon Musk's goal in creating the Tesla bot was to prevent the disasters that humans might create. At present, the strength and agility of robots have not reached the levels seen in science fiction movies. However, at some point in the future, when Optimus is upgraded to the 10th or 11th generation, we are certain that the capabilities of robots will become more concerning. Nonetheless, safety considerations have long been a priority for Elon Musk. With enhanced anti-hacking features in the next generation humanoid robots, to support this claim, let's revisit a competition held at the Siskin Computer Security Conference in China in 2014 which offered a $10,000 reward for anyone who could hack a Tesla Model S. All that was achieved was gaining control over the opening and closing of the doors. Additionally, Tesla continuously recruits for its cybersecurity team to identify vulnerabilities and patch them regularly through remote updates. Our concern is not just about the robots themselves, but about AI, a growing risk, as the robotics industry shifts its focus from hardware to software and integrates AI applications. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the operating system or supporting software of robots, including the robot operating system. Despite its name, ROS is not a traditional operating system, but rather an open source framework or middleware that provides a set of tools, libraries, and conventions designed to simplify the creation of complex and powerful robot behaviors across various robotic platforms. Common threats include the public accessibility of ROS nodes, weak authentication and authorization mechanisms, and vulnerable communication protocols. The open source nature of ROS also makes it susceptible to the same vulnerabilities that commonly affect open source software in general. However, Tesla does not currently use ROS. Instead, they are opting for hardware and software developed for their self-driving vehicle. This approach is somewhat similar to the development process of iOS, the renowned operating system created by Steve Jobs at Apple. Although it initially faced skepticism from the public, in the end, well, you probably already know what the outcome was. Furthermore, Elon Musk has long considered a remote shutdown button essentially allowing users to immediately power off the robot via devices such as their phones if Tesla detects a security breach or malfunction during use. Safety is maximized as Tesla has developed technical work related to neural networks and the Dojo supercomputer, tasks that Optimus learns through a tightly controlled supercomputer environment overseen by the team. This rigorous approach ensures that Optimus learning algorithms are continually refined and tested in real time, with constant updates and improvements based on the latest data. Additionally, Tesla's robust cybersecurity measures, including regular software audits and vulnerability assessments, contribute to a secure operational environment. By integrating these advanced safety protocols, Tesla aims to mitigate potential risks and enhance the reliability of Optimus in various applications, from industrial settings to consumer environments. Before diving deeper into the advancements that Tesla Bot has achieved, Make sure to like the video and join us for daily episodes by subscribing to Techno Creator channel. We always appreciate your support. What role does the dojo play with the Optimus? Tesla's vision-based approach is the main reason Tesla needs a supercomputer. The neural networks behind FSD are trained on a vast amount of driving data to recognize and classify objects around the vehicle and then make driving decisions. In other words, Tesla aims to create a digital replica of the human visual cortex and brain function 
which is applied to Tesla Bot to essentially enable the robot to learn from knowledge. To achieve this, Tesla needs to store and process all the video data collected from its vehicles around the world and run millions of simulations to train its model on this data. However, everything remains at the stage of inputting knowledge without surpassing human control and cognition. Dojo is a high-stakes gamble. It is built as a central brain-like component, similar to Skynet but with enhanced safety measures. The plan to upgrade Tesla Bot goes beyond just the design. Improvements in artificial intelligence are essential for Optimus to achieve a truly autonomous state in the literal sense. So what has Tesla outlined in their plan? In Tesla's first presentation on AI Day in 2021, Elon Musk announced that Optimus would be built on their full self-driving computer hardware. This surprised many of us, as building different types of robots typically requires significantly different hardware and architecture. Elon Musk has revealed new details about Tesla's next-generation self-driving computer, which many anticipate will be named Hardware 5 or AI5, following over a year of using Hardware 4. This will be the most powerful hardware version yet, as AI5 is expected to consume approximately four times the energy of Hardware 3 and Hardware 4. It will require a much stronger effort than before. Uh, Optimus is already performing tasks in our factory, um, and uh, we expect to have Optimus production version 1 in, in limited production starting early next year. Uh, this will be for uh, Tesla consumption. We can assume that Tesla will set a fairly ambitious timeline for the rollout of this product. Given that the RoboTaxi launch event is scheduled for the latter half of this year, the new AI5 might be used for fully autonomous self-driving vehicles without steering wheel or for an affordable $25,000 vehicle. It could even be employed in the production of thousands of Optimus robots with a projected increase of more than 20,000 AI5 units. Through this, Optimus is confident it can collect data up to 10 times faster than the previous version, thanks to accelerated data gathering on the new hardware. With high demands for healthcare and family care, Performing tasks accurately is more crucial than ever to provide information and alerts about health based on a wealth of medical knowledge. Not only that, a language model that is said to rival OpenAI recently launched has already surpassed hundreds of other AI models. Grok AI, which will be integrated into Optimus, aims to enhance learning capabilities and communication as Tesla embraces updates to voice and language features. With a focus on affordability and exceptional quality, Tesla will take additional time to refine the Tesla bot to ensure its launch meets humanity's expectations during the waiting period. So, what are Tesla Optimus's plans for the near future? As we know, Tesla is known for offering flexible options for its customers, and Optimus is no exception. Elon Musk has shared that bots would be offered both as rentals as well as to buy but the former first. This approach not only allows customers to test whether Optimus is truly useful and convenient for everyday life, but also helps mitigate financial risks. While the price of Optimus is expected to be around $20,000, certainly not a small amount, we believe that many potential buyers may still hesitate to spend that much to own one. $20,000 may not be a small sum, but it is still more accessible compared to purchasing a robot outright. With the rental option, customers won't face heavy financial pressure and can experience the product at a more reasonable cost. This is just one of many strategies Tesla is employing to commercialize Optimus. Elon Musk's vision for Optimus is to create an affordable, versatile humanoid robot that can serve both industrial and household needs, with the goal of making it an essential part of daily life. Although the expected price range for Optimus is between $20,000 and $30,000, Tesla spends around $10,000 to produce each robot allowing them to generate significant profit. However, the biggest challenge Tesla faces is how to attract millions, even billions of consumers to purchase this product. While high-tech robots typically cost between $70,000 and $300,000, Musk wants Optimus to cost between $20,000 and $30,000. If Tesla pulls it off, Optimus will be more affordable than most new robots, potentially enabling widespread adoption in a way that hasn't been possible before. Musk has said publicly that he expects demand for humanoid robots to skyrocket in the next decade or two, predicting a market of as many as 1 billion robots a year. He aims for Tesla to capture at least 10% of that market, which he believes could be worth as much as $25 trillion. Optimus is currently operating at Tesla factories, 
and is expected to continue through the first quarter of 2025, handling tasks alongside human workers. This trial run is intended to put the robot to work in a controlled industrial environment so Tesla can perfect the details before Optimus is available to the public. By the end of 2025, Musk expects to open orders to companies outside of Tesla. After 2026, Optimus could enter mass production with the goal of producing around 1,000 units by 2025 and scaling up from there. A world where robots like Optimus could revolutionize industries by handling everything from manufacturing and warehousing, one day, household tasks like cooking and cleaning. Thank you for watching our video. If you found the content useful and want to discover more interesting information about Tesla EV, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Techno Creator and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support to reach 4,500 subscribers and look forward to seeing you in the next video.